Hey guys, and welcome back to the Rebuild in the Net series. This is part 18 of this series. Last time out, we played the uh, Twins and won 7 to 5. We are on a little two game winning streak now. We are back above 500 at 10 and 9. Um, not really much to say. Uh, in today's game, we're taking on the Twins again. We've got Kate Cavalli going out there, looking to rebound from a rough start against, I want to say it was the Angels, maybe the Orioles. Um, but that's kind of where we stand. We're going to get all that simmed. We're going to take a look at any transactions that might have happened. Um, so it looks like a Jose Quaz was put on waivers. We're going to go... See how he is. Oh wow, he's really good. 28, 53 overall. Oh, he actually wasn't bad last year. One he's only 53 overall. Oh wait, that's uh, because he tops out at like 89. Anyway, no one that we're particularly interested in. Um, we're gonna go ahead and just jump into this game. We're going up against Joe Ryan. Um, he is 2-0 with a 1.67 ERA. So we might have our work cut out for us. We did win last game though, so I have I have good faith in this team right now. Move that around, and we're gonna go ahead and get started. There's your pitching matchup: Kate Cavalli versus Joe Ryan. I will see you all at the end. Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. MLB the show has interleague action for you this afternoon. It's the Washington Nationals taking on the Minnesota Twins. First pitch coming your way next. Just about ready to go. Today's starting pitcher, Joe Ryan. What's the word on him? Well, last year, kind of around the league average in terms of ERA. And you know what? That's why you have five different spots in the starting rotation. You've got to have people round things out. And not everyone's going to pitch like a number one or number two every outing or every season. But last year, he gave his team an opportunity and a chance to win every time he took the mound on average. And when you look at that kind of performance, it has a place on every ball club. Next offering is in for a strike. Ryan. He has a reputation, I don't know, maybe a knack for working himself out of tough situations that he finds himself in. You, know, you like that in a relief pitcher, but when you have it for a starting pitcher, a guy that can get out of a tight spot, that is pretty valuable. And a one-two. That's out to center field. Puts it away for the out. As we take a look at the Nationals lineup. And now it's Luis Garcia. Big game last night. He went four for five. The wind and the pitch. And you won't see the skipper rush to get somebody up in the bullpen as soon as he starts to see some signs of trouble. This guy's earned a longer leash, and because of that, confidence grows with the players and teammates playing behind him that when things get a little rough out there, they know he'll find his way through it. Farmer makes a nice grab at a full sprint. How much of the ability to do that in a tight spot is the mental approach? I think it's very much being able to have a laser-like focus, slow everything down, stay right in that moment, pitch to pitch, execution, and focusing on that catcher's mitt. No score just getting started, top of the first. Next one is off the plate, three and one. In for a strike, now it's three and two. And he walked him. 
One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. And the pitch. Foul ball still a one and two count. Manessas off of first with two away. Yeah, the one-two oh. misses to even the count. You know, lots of pitches thrown in this first inning. It's kind of that nightmare scenario for starting pitching. But you know what? It's still early enough. He can settle in. He can get some length if he just cleans up his mechanics a little bit. Next pitch is inside. Three and two down. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely ball score. Ball the 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. Here's Corey Dickerson. That one missed. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. And the right-hander deals. Hammered on the line, base hit. Runner at third, puts on the brakes. Base is now loaded with two away. And that is his 1,000th Major League hit. A nice moment for him. Yeah, anytime you flip the page on a career milestone, it feels really good. You know that number's in front of you for a long time, and you can't get there fast enough. Good for him. And now it's Kiebert Ruiz. And now two and one after that missed inside. Two outs, bases are full. Next offering upstairs. Look, in situations like these, the air can get really thin up there at the plate. Got to find a way to breathe and slow everything down. The pitch. Fly ball down the right field line. If it's fair, it's gone. And that is gone. Jamer Candelario. Here's a guy who's been struggling so far this year. It's only late April, but still hoping he'll turn it around soon. That one ripped. Dives, but it falls. And now it looks like extra bases. And he's got a double. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. A lot of times in today's game, right fielders are able to get to a ball that stays in like that, but he hit that one pretty well. And if he hits it just a little bit different on the barrel, it's out of here easily. But there's nothing wrong with the extra bases right there. Righty to the plate. There's a strike. Well, they've been able to score four runs off of him in this inning, and this is where you want to just max out, get as much as you can, give him one of those tough innings where it's going to be hard for him to recover in the next one. Next offering is fouled back. Runner at second, two down. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. But the damage was done right here as you get another. Back here at the ballpark. And today's starter, Cade Cavalli. What do we need to know here? Well, he tried to make it through the fifth inning last time out, but the pitch count just got too high. He ended up taking the loss. That's one of those you just have to shake it off, come back out today, and try to throw a gym. In the dirt. On to first. In time to get him. One away in the strikeout. Here's the center fielder, Michael A. Taylor. So now one and two. Race down the line, base hit right field. Taylor races for second. 
And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. Good job of just putting the ball in play with two strikes. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are... Oh, this ball's down, and that could bring in a run. He pulls into second as a run scores. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a little bit, maybe spread out, but he got the job done right there. Missed inside with the curve. Next offering misses. And now three balls and a strike and a pitch. Nice grab. Over to first. And they get the out. Great cat-like reflexes right there. Lays out, knocks the ball down, and then fires with that rocket arm all the way across the diamond. Man, put this guy on the mound. And now the first baseman, Jose Miranda, downstairs, and it misses ball four. Now, this is a story we were paying attention to before the game. We've seen him give up walks in the past, and it's an issue once again early on. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Full count now. It's great to get on the board in the first frame of the ball game, but here's an opportunity for them to really open things up with a couple of runners on. Let's see if they can cash in. 3-2. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. Now a long throw home. Safe at the play. And it's now a two-run game. Love how he became a really tough out with two strikes right there. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field. And it doesn't always translate into the game. But right there it did, and he did it perfectly. 3-1 is on the way. Swing and a ball popped up. He's got it, and that is out number three. They put two on the... And welcome back. And here's the first baseman, Dominic first Smith. Baseman, number 22, Dominic Smith. Payoff pitch. Slow roller to first, Miranda. Steps on first for the out. The batter, number five. So the batting order turns over. CJ Here's C.J. Abrams to him. He's 0 for 1. One down, base is empty. Pulls that one foul. The pitch. Good eye right there. It's a good take. Freddie Ferguson behind the dish, calling the balls and strikes. Ripped into right center, and that should be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he's in with a stand-up double. Throw is high and over his head. Off the bat, it was headed for the gap all the way. And as a hitter, you love seeing those as you take your first couple of steps out of the box. You know you've got some real estate to run on. It's such a good feeling. Nice liner into the gap right there. Luis Garcia digs in now. He's 0 for 1. The pitch. That's in there. and misses it's a strikeout he had him out in front which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this known for using the entire field just couldn't sit back long enough on that one joey meneses digging in for the nationals the walk and a run scored his first time the next pitch misses ball two two and one And there's a strike. Just a really nice slider down and in there. He wants to get the hitter thinking fastball, speed him up, and just subtract some velocity and add a little movement. Man on second, two down. Pitch misses there, and the count's full. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball.
runner leads away at second. Swings over the splitter for strike three. So one left for Washington as they can't add to their 4-2 lead. Back at target field, ready to go for the last half of the inning. Kyle Farmer up to the plate now. Swing and a ball hammered. Left field, that's back. Caught just shy of the wall. Number 95, getting ready to hit. He's got the power, but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. Left-hand batter waits. He checks his swing, and that's a foul ball. Bounce to the left side. Fires to first on the run. Already two out here in the home half of inning number two. Back to the top of the lineup. Here's Donovan Solano. 0 for 1 so far. Just a weak fly ball this time. Call. Brings it in for the third out. Nothing doing here for the twin. Welcome back. New inning getting started. Now it's the right fielder, Alex Call. The wind of the pitch. And a good eye there. Been a rough start on the mound for this guy. His third inning so important for him to get on track, turn the page, settle in, do all those things you need to do to give your team a little bit of length in this one. Ripped on a line. Racing makes the catch. One away. Now batting. Here's Dickerson now. Singled and scored his first time. And a swing and a miss down on strikes. And there are two down. Oh, really went aggressive in with that slider. Oh, Good two-strike pitch right there. At worst case scenario, it's weak contact in play. Exactly where he and the catcher wanted it. And he deals. Swing and a miss. And he struck him out. And good work there as he gets a set for the bottom of the third and now for the twins Michael A. Taylor next pitch is Two outside one. and that's in for a strike Two and two. here comes a pitch center field Thomas under it and it's caught for the out now that the designated hitter Jorge. Jorge. The batter now, Jorge Polanco. And here it comes. And there's a ball. Strike two. Righty delivers. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Gassed it right by him. Here's Joey Gallo. Grounded out his first time. Swings and misses. One, and it's one and two. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Twins are set. Back in Minnesota, John Chompy with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Jamer Candelario. Rips one to right. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one away. Here's Lane Thomas. Went down on strikes his first time through. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. And that's a double. Seeing some good swings from him right now with consecutive extra base hits. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. And he takes it himself for the out. And stepping in is the speedy C.J. Abrams. One for two. Two outs. 
Tap of the zone, and it's called a strike. Well, I know they've gotten out to an early lead, but you don't want to take these opportunities for granted. With two outs, still lock in with a quality at bat, drive in that run. You may not have another guy in scoring position the rest of this ball game. Struck him out without a swing. Called strike three. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the fourth, and now for the Twins, Jose Miranda. In the air, center field, a little bloop single. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. Oh. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. Hit on the ground might be two. Over to second for one. On to Smith. Two. Now that right fielder, Matt Kepler. Max Kepler at the plate. He popped out his first time. The Y, the kick, and the one-two. In the air, left field. Dickerson pulls it down, and that's the inning. back and there's a new arm on the mound to start the fifth Kenta Maeda this Ladies is his third time out this year please. now pitching for the twins number 18 Kenta Maeda. up now for Washington Luis Garcia the second baseman Luis Garcia here's a 1-1 one -one. rolled softly but that goes foul Right-handed reliever. And that one is lifted in the air. And it falls! Off to a good start with a leadoff knock. Well, that's one of those knocks where you almost expect to get some jabs from your teammates when you get back to the dugout. Really not a pitch you want to swing at if you don't have to because it's almost impossible to hit anything that far inside with any type of authority. That one tied him up, but... Still able to guide it into the outfield somehow. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Oh. And another ball. Some movement in the Twins' bullpen. Giovanni Moran, the young lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. Alcala warming up as well. The pitch. Out to center. Taylor makes the grab, and there's one down. Now batting the right fielder, Alex Call. So up next, Alex Call. He's hitting for that pop. Came out of the gates really strong. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. The left fielder, number 20. Corey Dickerson Corey digging in for the Nationals. Dickerson. The pitch. Maybe a two ball. Five, four, three. It's a double play. And that'll do it for the inning. Well, we can never overstate it. Pitcher's best friend right there. Double play gets out of the jam, saves some pitches of the inning and now for the twins Kyle Farmer swing and a ball popped up that one gets down for a hit and the leadoff man aboard now with the way defenders track base. down balls these days I mean both from the infield and in the outfield there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that but there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a lawn dart in there, and he found a way. The 
Hanks pitches outside. On the mound, he had a little trouble back in the first, but it's been a different story the rest of the way. Really settled into this outing nicely. Here's a 2-1. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Runner at first with no outs here. Next offering upstairs. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Donovan Solano in the on-deck circle for the Twins. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Pulled the string on the changeup. Tell you what, those are the types of guys pitchers really like to punch out when they're on the mound because if they get on, just the distraction that they create with all that speed over on the base pass, it could take away your focus from the next hitter, and that's the last thing you want to do. Is so Fires to second for one, and that's two. One hit in the inning, but nothing more than that. Five innings complete. It's the Nationals four and the Twins two. And welcome back. And here's the catcher, Hebert Ruiz. The catcher, Hebert Ruiz. That's in there, two and two. Goes down looking. Up next to the National. Next to hit, Jamer Candelario. Jamer Candelario. Strikes back to back strikeouts. Next to hit for the Nats, Lane Thomas. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports too. That one finds the corner. One and two. And a ball no evens the count. Comes a 2 2. Just no missed. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. The wide to kick the pitch. Ouch, that one drilled him. No chance for a play, and let's hope the righty's not hurt on the mound. That one got him pretty good, but perhaps the silver lining is that it got him in his non-throwing arm, Chris. Yeah, assuming there's nothing broken in there, I think he should be able to shake this one off. But, man, that can't feel good. He's going to have a pretty nice bruise at the very least, that's for sure. Man, at first, Dom Smith stands in. Left-hand hitter waits. Now fly ball to right center. That is the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left. Two, three, four, do up in the home half of the six. Back at target field. Here we go, bottom six. Here's a big power threat. Michael A. Taylor. Michael A. Taylor. The wind of the pitch. Swings and misses. And that is strike two. Check what swing on the 2-2. Two -two. Appeal to first. And no swing, says Joe McDonald. Here comes a 3-2. In the air, left field, down the line. Dickerson puts the squeeze on that one. One down. Now that the designated hitter, Jorge. Jorge Polanco, oh, the next Marco. twin up to hit. One for two with an RBI double back in the first. Well, you got to give him credit out there on the mound. This outing started off a little shaky, but he's found a way to settle in and turn this into a pretty good start. Kind of shows you a lot about his mental makeup as a pitcher. 
Smash to the left side. Over to Smith. And that quickly, two away. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. And the righty deals. Good eye right there. Just missed. And he's close as he's trying to get through six full innings right now. He's about to throw his 100th pitch. I'd be surprised if this isn't it for him. And that one wrapped foul. Two down, nobody on. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Three two. The three two four, is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. What a battle! It's not always easy laying off a three two pitch, and I tell you what, he earned that walk. Gallo leads off first with two down to the inning. In the air, right field. Makes the grab on the run, and that is the inning. Back in Minnesota, we go to the top of the seventh. The batter will be the shortstop, C.J. Abrams. Taken high in the draft, he's had that top prospect label over him since he put on a professional uniform. But at some point, that starts to go away, and you've got to produce at the big league level. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss at the splitter, and it's a strikeout. That's about as nasty of a splitter as you'll come across, especially in terms of movement. I mean, that thing tumbles out of his hand and just drops off the table at the last moment. If he keeps it down, it's just so tough to put wood on. That one hammered, but pulled foul. The one two in the dirt Vasquez gathers throws got him two gone after the strikeout and now the DH Joey Manessis A solid inning so far in relief. Getting them through this inning only down two could give their lineup a real opportunity to just grind their way back into this game with the few outs that they have left. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Slider got him for strike three. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Sean Doolittle. These are the spots where relievers really make a name for themselves. Late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. Up next for Minnesota, the right fielder. Now batting Max, Max. Kepler. Kepler. The 1-1. On the ground to first. Takes it himself. Oh. Two up, two down. And the batter now, yeah, batter. Kyle Farmer. The third base. Really good piece of hitting Farmer. last time. Going to the opposite Farmer. field. Next offering is in for a strike. Next offering is fouled back. The idea was right. Looking to locate that fastball up and in. He just missed his spot a little bit. Line to left and foul ball. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. And no one can get there. It falls in. Around first heading for two. In safely. It's a double and his second hit. 
Still able to come through behind in the count right there. I don't know how he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on it. That pitch was inside, and he let it get really deep. So pretty incredible hand. Well, going to pause on that thought as that'll do it. Back here at the ballpark for the top of the eight. And now Alex Call. The one one. In the air out towards right center. And out number one on the grab. The left fielder, number 23. Stepping Corey. in, Corey Dickerson. Dickerson. One for three. Hit on the ground to the right side. He'll do it himself. Two up, two down here in the top of the eighth. Now that the catcher, Cable. Kicks and fires. Foul ball there. Bounce to the right side. He steps on the bag, and that will end the inning. Welcome back. Bottom of the eighth. And now the shortstop, Donovan Solano. And a 2-1 on the way. And that's in for a strike. On the ground, right side. Over to Smith. And that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. Michael A. Taylor, the next to hit. The 3 2 four, four, is six, off eight. the outside edge, and that is ball four. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. The new pitcher in the game, Tanner Good Rainey. Team, they know that he can now, get. Four. Taylor runs. Swing and a miss. Safe at second, and he easily steals the bag. When your catcher's not a great thrower, you have to do a better job of controlling the running game, and that's throwing over, that's stepping off, doing whatever you can to try to keep that base stealer's rhythm off. Well, they weren't able to do it right there. They're going to have to make some type of adjustment, or guys are going to be running all game. And he handles it himself for the out. Good slider inside right there. Batter fighting to get there, just rolled over it, got the ground ball. Joey Gallo steps to the plate. And Boog, I'd say he's due. Fouls one off. Two and two. Tying run at the plate. Still two and two after the foul ball. Taylor at third with two away. Gallo swings and drives one. Deep right field. That one back. And forget it. Joey Gallo blasts one out. His first homer of the year, and we're starting over. It's 4-4. Singy, he's been waiting for this oh. moment to finally come. But well, we knew it would come eventually, and I wouldn't be shocked to see him going a nice little run at the plate, hitting some balls out of the ballpark. He's got that monkey off his back. Tied at four. Hit on the ground to Candelario. That's the inning. Just one hit in the inning, but it was a big one right here. And welcome back. All set to start the ninth in this one. Here's the third baseman, Jamer Candelario. Four. 
swing and a miss struck him out one out man a good splitter can be devastating can it I mean that thing got halfway to the blade and just did a nose dive once you commit your swing there's just no adjusting your bat path to get down to that ball and the ball dips below your bat like it's doing the limbo I see you do the limbo boo you get down there man and now Lane Thomas next offering is in for a strike trying to keep good speed off the bases the one two swing and a miss and he got him and he's down on strikes for the second time today. Nice, doubled up with the slider for that punch out. The one before just caught the zone, so as a hitter, you have to protect right there. Great pitch to just expand a little bit more. He got that chase he was looking for. That right there is good pitching. Just missed. Strike two. That's towards center. Taylor makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. Three up, three down for him there. Six. Paolo Espino gets the ball now, and he has some nasty breaking stuff. Number 30. Here's Christian Vasquez. Leading up for the twin. The that ah. one in for a strike, two and two. Got him swinging. Not too often you're going to see a sub 90 mile per hour fastball get by a hitter for the strikeout, especially when it's in a very hittable location like that. Makes me think he's either looking for something else completely or he tried to do way too much with that swing. Dickerson makes the grab, and there are two outs. Kyle Farmer, the next twin up to hit. There's the swing and a miss. One and two. All tied up here in the last half of inning number nine. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. Way back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. On the mound now for the twins, Jorge Alcala. He pitched yesterday, and we'll see him once again. The 1-1. One, one. There's the strike. The extra innings rule placing a runner on second to begin the inning was a big move for baseball in 2020. So, Chris, how has that changed the way relievers approach these innings? Well, I don't think it's that much different from coming in to clean up someone else's mess. Thank Definitely you. not ideal, but the best relievers welcome challenges like this. Pitch misses inside, and it's three and two. You know, this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. Three and two. Payoff pitch. Got him looking. Down on strikes, and he knew it. Luis Garcia digging in for the Nationals. Out towards left center. And this one could be extra bases. And he's into second base with one away as the go-ahead run. Well, that may end up being an at-bat we go back to later on when this game is over. He put a really nice balanced swing on it. And when you can rope one into the gap like that, you're thinking extra bases from the first couple of steps out of the box. And he'll feel real good about that one. Now here is Joey Meneses. Out number two. So next will be the four-hole hitter for the Nationals. Alex Call. Two down. Go ahead, run in scoring position. Next offering is downstairs. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Next pitch is downstairs. The 
Right-hander kicks, deals, and that's ball four. Oh, you know this guy wants to swing it, but he's showing some good patience in this one. It's the second time he's taken ball four. Corey Dickerson digging in for the Nationals. Swing and a pop-up. Solano puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end. We're in extras here. Here's the second baseman, number 95. And one and two. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. He's under it. Makes the grab one down. Donovan Solano, the next twin up to hit. That's ripped into the outfield. Dickerson makes the catch, and there's two away. Man, if that drops right there, they would have gotten the potential winning run on base, maybe even in the scoring position, but that's just one of those hang with them. Swing and a miss, and a count one and two. All tied up here in extra innings. Next one misses, two and two. Oh, he might have to look for a different put-away pitch right here, 2-2. Two, two. He's already seen. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Nothing across here this half. We push. They Your hand the ball over to a new arm. Giovanni Moran at the play. Hebert Ruiz. And a pitch. Dribbled up the third baseline. Tosses to first. One up, one down. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. Next offering is in for a strike. Extra innings certainly had a different feel starting in 2020 with a new rule placing a runner on second to begin the inning, and that forced teams to rethink their strategy in extra frames. Yeah, much less margin for error, and boo, to your dismay, not much sacrifice bunting. Teams usually try for the big inning. Certainly not that much bunting for the road team as they try and play for the big inning, but for the home team, if the road team doesn't score, you'll see the home team bunt sometimes. One away, tie game. Go ahead run stands at first. Hard hit, base hit. Makes the turn at second, heads for third. Coming home. Solano with a relay home. Not in time. He beat it, and they've got the lead. Well, he delivers in a huge spot right there. Well, he's so dialed in. I don't think he even realizes how much pressure exists out there. Very easy swing, nice and relaxed. This is the type of approach you want to see guys take in this situation. Now it's Dominic Smith. Line drive, base hit. Thomas coming home. Kepler fires it to the plate. Slides his hand in there. Save. And it's a two-run lead in extra innings. Caleb Thielmar taking over on the mound. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of them right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. And now here is C.J. Abrams. Got him looking. Two down. Man at first, digging in, Luis Garcia. And a swing and a miss there. Gonna really need to hang in there with that front side against this left-handed breaking ball. And yeah, that's downstairs and outside. Two balls, two strikes. Now all even up. Swing and a slow roller. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. Did a nice job getting there. Good throw, but very difficult to get anybody on that one as far as you had to go and throw. You know? Yeah, no question. To the batter now, Joey Meneses. Little trouble with this one behind the plate, but no advance from the runners. Smith, the lead runner out at second. Garcia at first, two out of the inning. Way inside, gets out of the way.
Three balls, two strikes the count. On a line out towards center. Taylor makes the grab. And the inning is over. Back here at extras, and a new pitcher on the mound in the bottom half of the inning. Kyle Finnegan. And this guy can bring it velocity-wise. 3 4 5 due up for the home team. Now it's the DH, Jorge Polanco. These guys today are so great with handling velocity. They're seeing high speeds day after day, and a nice job of turning that one around. They say you win. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, try to stay out of a double play here. Smith fires to second for one. Plenty of time at first. That's a double play. For me, that's one of the toughest double plays to turn on the infield. The first baseman has to get inside, create a throwing lane to hit that yeah. middle infielder to start the double play, and then from there, completing it back to first. Really good job all the way around. That misses. That miss. Now ball. two and two. Really good slider. He's up there just hoping that it ends up off the oh. plate away. Fastball, and he gets out of the way. That's ripped. Base hit. So a two-out knock keeps the inning alive. That's tremendous fight from him, and I know it's got the dugout fired up down there. Down to the last strike, and he comes up with a hit to keep the game. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Well, I love the fact they didn't quit. They had to do a little extra work tonight to secure this win, but it's what you got to do over the course of a season if you want to be a championship ball club. And this one ends with a final score of 6-4. to four. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long. The final line score for our ball game this afternoon for the victorious Washington Nationals. Six runs on 13 hits. No errors. They left 10 men on base. Uh, sorry about that. I had a couple of headphone issues right there for a second. Uh, very good game for the most part. Came back there in the 11th and pulled off the win. Uh, Ruiz had that grand slam in the first inning. That was pretty awesome. Um, a lot of hits to go around. We had 13. I think everybody had a hit except for Manessas, which is pretty surprising because he's supposed to be my hottest hitter. K. Cavalli, he went six innings, two earned. Only, he got four strikeouts. That's a good bounce back. Um... Doolittle came in for an inning and a third. Um, I didn't mean to leave him out there. He got charged for that run, unfortunately. Rainey came in and, and blew that save, technically. Two-thirds of an inning, one run. Spino came in for two innings, two strikeouts. He continued to dominate this season. Um, and who am I thinking about? Ah, Finnegan. He had a little bit of a shaky inning. Gave up two hits. Luckily, the double play and a strikeout to finish it. On their side, Joe Ryan, um, four innings, four earned. Meh, meh, my, can't tell my Ada. I could not get a hit off of him, man. His splitter killed me. As soon as they brought in Morgan, though, it was over. Teed off on him, and then Thielbar shut it down for them. But, yeah, good game. Hopefully, we can keep us a little bit of momentum as we ride through the end of the month. Really looking forward to that. Finnegan got a seven save, and I think we're looking pretty good. All right, I will see you all in the next one.